Today we will be talking about bottoms up factoring. Bottoms up factoring is a method we use for trinomials. Normally when we see trinomials we think of the factor sum method. The reason we're going to use bottoms up factoring is because the trinomials we'll start seeing will have a different number than one in front of x squared in the trinomial. An example of that is 3x squared plus 10x minus 8. Notice that this trinomial has a coefficient of 3 instead of 1 in front of x squared. The first step in bottoms up factoring is to take that coefficient and multiply it to the last term in the trinomial. So we will take 3 and multiply it to negative 8 and rewrite our new trinomial. x squared plus 10x minus 24. Now we have a trinomial that we're used to factoring using the factor sum method. We need to think of the factors that multiply to negative 24 and add to 10. We've already practiced factor sum, so we will go ahead and just tell you that the two factors are positive 12 and negative 2. They both add to 10. Now we will write the binomials and the factors of x squared plus 10x minus 24. The first factor is x plus 12, and the second factor is x minus 2. Now, since we multiplied that 3 at the beginning of the problem, we need to reverse that operation and come back and divide by 3 to the numbers left in our factors. We're going to take 12 and divide it by 3, and take negative 2 and divide it by 3. Then we will reduce the fractions and write our new binomials. Once you have reduced the fractions and written your two new binomials, if there is still a fraction in the problem, you will take that number and swoop it up to the front of that factor, hence the term bottoms up. Whatever number's on bottom, you bump them up to the front of that term. And the resulting factors are x plus 4 and 3x minus 2. Now to check to make sure that we have the correct factors, we can now multiply those two binomials, x plus 4 and 3x minus 2, and see if they result in the original trinomial. We will use the FOIL method, like we've done before, to check our answers. First, outer, inner, last. Combine our x terms in the middle, and our resulting trinomial matches the original problem, and we have successfully factored a trinomial with the coefficient of a number other than 1 in front of the x squared term. Now we want you to practice a problem with us. Please write down 5x squared minus 17x minus 12. Notice that the number in front of x squared is not 1. We will need to use the bottoms up method to factor this trinomial. Remember, you take that number 5 and multiply it to the last term in your trinomial. 5 times negative 12 comes out to negative 60, and we will rewrite the original expression. x squared minus 17x minus 60. Now with this trinomial, we can use the factor sum method. What are the factors of negative 60 that add to negative 17, positive 3, and negative 20.
Now write your binomials x plus 3 and x minus 20. Remember, in the bottoms up method, since we multiplied by 5 at the beginning, we need to now divide by 5. So let's go to our numbers, divide both of them by 5, and reduce our fractions. If there is still a fraction in the binomial, we need to do bottoms up. Take the number that's on bottom and bump them to the front. 5x plus 3 is one of the factors, and x minus 4 is the other factor. Okay, now we are going to try one more problem, and we're going to give you some time. We're going to give you some time to try this one on your own. Please write down this problem 9x squared plus 18x plus 5. Notice that the coefficient in front of x squared is a number different than 1. You will have to take that number and multiply it to the last term. On your own, please write the resulting trinomial. x squared plus 18x plus 45. Now that we have a trinomial with a coefficient of 1 out in front, we can use our factor sum method. Take some time and think of the factors of 45 that add to 18. Hopefully, you came up with the factors of 3 and 15. Now write your resulting binomials that factor x squared plus 18x plus 45. x plus 3 and x plus 15. Remember, there's one more step left in bottoms up. Since we multiplied by 9 at the beginning, we need to now go back and divide by 9 in our binomials. So take a moment and divide by 9 and reduce your fractions. When you reduce the binomials, you get x plus 1 third and x plus 5 thirds. Here's your chance to do bottoms up. Since there are still fractions in our binomials, we take the denominator and do bottoms up, in this case, for both binomials. Our resulting binomials are 3x plus 1 and 3x plus 5. Please take some time now to use the FOIL method 
to check your factors. Number first, nine x squared, outer plus fifteen x, inner plus three x, and last plus 5. Now combine your like x terms and prove that your two binomials multiply back out to the original trinomial. Great job.